Welcome to another episode of Raw Therapy Video Tutorials. Today we will examine the use of the Haze Removal tool from the Detail tab. Let's start with a simple question. What is haze? Haze, caused from fog, smoke, or small particulates create atmospheric absorption and scattering. The light received by the camera is attenuated along the line of sight. Raw Therapy includes the Haze Removal tool that reduces the haze effects of the picture. If you are interested in the mathematics behind this algorithm, you can visit this page to learn more. We are going to use two photos for this video. The first photo is taken in the mountains of Cyprus Island. There are some clouds with rain on the left, and the whole picture seems very dark. If we enable the dehaze tool, we notice two things. First, now our photo is much darker than before. And, second, the areas where the dehaze tool was applied, are much more blue than before. We can also see from the histogram, that the blue color is stronger than the others. To fix the darkness, we will go to the Exposure tab, and modify the Exposure and Tone Curve settings. You should always check for highlight clipping. You can use the highlight compression threshold to reduce the clipping. Next we go to the color tab and to the RGB curves tool. We enable the tool. We press the B and we select parametric. Then we move the bars of the darks and lights on the left until we reach the desired result. We will also reduce the color saturation. Remember, that the amount of color correction required, depends on the strength selected in the haze removal tool. After the transformations, if we zoom in the picture, we notice some color artifacts. To fix this, we enable the noise reduction, with default settings. Don't forget to press the Automatic button in the Distortion Correction section. Our first photo is now ready. The second picture is a photo taken from Switzerland. This is an extreme case, due to the amount of the fog on the air. We enable the dehaze tool. We increase the strength, and the depth bar. Now we have to fix the color and the brightness, as in the first picture. You can see from the histogram, that the blue channel is dominant. We are using the RGB curves again, in the color tab. In this photo, we can also decrease the green shadows.
The trees now look more natural than before. We fix the exposure. And we also decrease the saturation. Again we use noise reduction to reduce the produced color noise. We can use the contrast by detail levels to improve the clarity. We should also fix the distortion and the vignetting. Our photo is now ready. We can see that the colors look natural and we removed most of the haze. You can find a link with both pictures in the description of the video.